Let's ask David Keckner the poll question that's on our on our app today. Here. What's the best football nickname, Dave? The, the bus, the snake, sweetness, the fridge. He hate me. Um, well, I lived in Chicago for nine years, so I'm, I'm tempted to go with sweetness. But the snake, mm-hmm. old Jake. Oh, that's that was one of the early ones. I'm no, sure that was, were... yeah, yeah, that was it was Stabler's before Jake Plummer. Yeah. Now you. Oh, I was thinking of a Stabler. I wasn't yeah, thinking of Plummer. Yeah, I know, I know. But we said the same thing too. By the way, Jake. We always keep saying Jake the Snake too, when we actually mean Ken Stabler. We mean Ken Stabler. Now yeah. you. You're right. We, well, we also had somebody call in while you were driving here. The Nigerian nightmare that we forgot. Christian ooh. Okoye. Yeah. Did, Get ready for the cutback. Did you ever have a, a nickname? I did. I was, was when name? I was younger. I was really small, and so they would call me Big Dave. So it was ironic. <laughs> <laughs> and the irony is, I guess part oh, another irony is I then grew to be six foot two. So, so now what? So now are you called Small Dave by those same people <laughs> <laughs> for different reasons? Bam! <laughs> because I don't think so well. Small brain. Small brain. What? What? Um, so you were just Big Dave, right? Big Dave. Uh, now people just call me Kex. Now, what about your, didn't you, last time you were here, you were talking about your son was playing. Charlie. And it, it, does he have a nickname out there in the field or anything uh, like that? No? I think it's just, I think just, they just call him Charlie. Just getting Keckner. You said people just put Concrete, Keckner in the game, right? Concrete Charlie? Con- Concrete Charlie Keckner? Concrete Ooh, Charlie Oh, that's Keckner. great. The heavy mixer? <laughs> nice. <laughs> here comes Concrete Charlie Keckner. He plays for the Providence Pioneers. They're yes. having a great season. Okay. He could get a little more playing time, Coach. Coach <laughs> Westfall, by the way. Coach Westfall. Like, like Paul? Paul? Paul's son, yes. Get out of here. I'm not kidding you. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. Great coach. Football? No, uh, basketball. Basketball? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Paul Westfall's kid S- yes, is, is coaching-, coaching your kid. Yes. I'm not sure who's benefiting more. <laughs> <laughs> who's learning? Talk about small world, right? man. Only in Los Angeles are you going to get that. That is that, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> That's he's true. also a film producer, so it works. Cuts both ways. <laughs> yes, he was actually in Semi Pro. He was one. Of, he oh. was one of the uh, uh, regular on. players in Semi Pro. No one kidding. Of the, the extra guys. Yeah, yeah. So Paul Westfall used his stardom here in this town to get his son into Semi Pro. I'm not sure who got who into what. I haven't ge- okay. gone through a full discussion Just about that. To see that. Yeah. That is. You're, you're right. That don't, only. That's the only sort of stuff that. You know, like my 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 kid goes to school with RoboCop's kid. Wow. Yeah. Weller. Yeah. Wow. So it was one time. So one time I would be going. I went to school function. I'm like, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's RoboCop. It's pretty awesome. I know, but you know, I'm also 20 years younger. That's okay. We're the only ones that matter here in this room. Um, uh, Weller was also a history professor or something, right? Is it, it was it? Syracuse? I didn't Something know. Something crazy. That. Like he's a big brain guy. I'm looking at a Syracuse Wait, really? guy over there. Was you don't even know. No idea. I'm, yeah. I'm guessing Syracuse. This was after he, re- he after acting. He went and became po- post Robocop? Post Robo. Post cop. <laughs> Someone to look it up. I'm on it. You are in fact correct. Peter Weller did teach at Syracuse. Uh, there's a website nowadays where you can rate professors. So you decide, you know, whenever you're enrolling in classes, whether or not you want that professor. Oh boy. We have Peter Weller's rating oh my as a professor. Oh, this is out of five point what do you guys think RoboCop rated well, as? Well, it's got to be five. Otherwise, he'll just absolutely eviscerate you from uh, from the <laughs> curriculum, right? I mean, isn't that the way it would work? I would think it's probably You have to five. be careful with RoboCop. It'd be a very engaging. Robo uh, professor? 4.9. Robo prof. Now, 4.9 because that one student who didn't show up got a, got a F. <laughs> Level of difficulty out of five for one, Peter Weller's one. class at Syracuse. One. Maybe that's why you got a five? Is that what you're saying? Are these correlated figures? What did you get? Got a 2.8. Hotness. Wait, like how like how attractive he is? That's what it says. Hotness. What what got a, what website are you on? Is this like a rotten tomato? He's gar- on fire. No, it's a rate my professor. This was around when I was in school. Yeah, it's a real it's a real website. Um <laughs> some of the quotes for Mr. Weller, mm-hmm. uh, you don't attend Mr. Weller's classes because he was Robocop. You attend for the knowledge he imparts. And boy, did he ever impart knowledge. Forget acting, sir. You have such knowledge. It would be a shame to waste it on acting. Oh, come wait, on. Wait, what? The guy's not a bad profession? Not only a cool actor, but possibly the coolest professor ever. Wow. Having Robocop as a professor was bleeping awesome. How about that? <laughs> the, best <laughs> one, on, it this is great. the best was one day after I had his class, I went back to my room to watch 24, the best show ever, and there was my professor <laughs> trying to blow up Jack Bauer himself. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Weller is the man. <laughs>
The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. <laughs>